This is a little known, but rather lovely, royal love story concerning Queen Victoria's cousin, Leopold of Saxe Coburg. Immensely wealthy, dashing, and handsome, Leopold was an officer in the Austrian army, and he regularly dined at a Viennese hotel. One day, he happened to fall into conversation about music with the proprietor of the hotel, and the proprietor mentioned that his wife was a client of a dressmaker, whose daughter, Constance Geiger, was a former child prodigy, who had progressed from acting to performing as a soprano and a concert pianist. To supplement her income, she also gave music lessons in Vienna, but when her father died, her mother opened a dressmaker's shop, in which Constance was forced to work as a regular saleswoman. Intrigued, Leopold visited the shop, and after speaking with Constance, he was so enamoured that he made many more visits until a liaison developed, resulting in the birth of a son in April 1860. Constance's many accomplishments could not compensate for her lack of royal blood, and the Austrian court was aghast when Leopold chivalrously announced that he intended to marry her. When his request for a title for her was denied, he demonstrated his respect and love for his bride by arranging a lavish public wedding presided over by the Cardinal Archbishop of Vienna. On the way to the church, Leopold rode proudly beside Constance's carriage, which was emblazoned with his coat of arms and surrounded by footmen and outriders. And once inside the church, he further asserted her right to be viewed as his equal by offering her his right hand, rather than the left, which was the usual custom in the case of a morganatic marriage. When questioned about this, he boldly replied that since his own mother was not of royal blood, he and Constance were equal in the sight of God, and by rights in the sight of society. Queen Victoria and Leopold's brother, the former King Ferdinand of Portugal, welcomed her into the family. But Viennese society was so disdainful of the dressmaker's daughter that the couple lived mainly in Paris, where Leopold purchased a villa near the Bois de Boulogne. There they formed a cultured and lively circle of friends, including such luminaries as Sarah Bernhardt and the Swedish soprano Christine Nielsen. There is much more about Leopold and other cousins of Queen Victoria in my book, Queen Victoria's Cousins. Thank you for listening.